So you found yourself in a Counter-Strike 2 match where you're facing against an Opera that is absolutely destroying you. How do we combat this and how do we make sure that that guy doesn't get the chance to keep farming us and making our life miserable? Today I'm going to give you the greatest advice on how to counter Oppers from someone who plays the op at a professional level. I'm going to give you some advice that is going to make these Oppers life miserable and make it so hard for them to actually be able to find that impact against you. You're going to be an Oppers nightmare by the end of this video. But first, I do have to give you a message from the sponsor of today's vid. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade locked can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, so let's talk about ways that we're going to counter this opera and make sure that he just doesn't have impact inside of this game. So the first thing I want you to do is start to smoke off common positions that they're going to play. And if you're playing a really good opera on Mirage, for example, this means smoking off window and or top mid. Throwing both smokes could be fine, right? It can give you that space to get out. Why are we going to do this? Because from their perspective, they're not going to be able to have these easy fights and be able to farm you. Um, versus if you're just noobs and you're running out mid, right? Now, one thing you need to watch out for is a good opera might try to disrespect these smokes and jump through mid and start playing around and doing these kind of things, which brings me on to the second part. When you're throwing this utility, flashes are your best friend against oppers, right? It doesn't matter how good of an opera you are playing, if they are full blind, they are not going to be good at all, right? They might get a lucky shot, that's gonna happen. They might kill you full blind, but overall, if you're able to flash, you are going to farm oppers, right? So one thing that we can do is throw these window flashes on Mirage, that's gonna blind anyone playing in window or anyone jumping out mid to go for an aggressive pickup here, or jumping out to catwalk, uh, whatever. Uh, throwing those, throwing flashes behind the box, again to blind anyone coming out, flashing behind mid as you're scaling out, and then also flashing off connector or a little shallower, right? All these flashes are great, they're going to farm these early picks that they're going for, and combined with the smokes is going to make the life impossible for this offer to get any value out of mid. Now once we find ourselves in this mid control, we have a little bit of a foothold. Making sure that we are not peaking angles that is going to be easy pickings for them is vital. And again, this is where we go into our next phase of smoking things off. Because a good opera might start to realize you're just smoking top mid and window and he might start cat here, right? Just post on this angle and he might farm you early round coming to this angle, right? Um, so just be conscious of like, do we hear the op shoot anywhere? Do we know where he's at? If we don't know where he's at, anytime we peek these long range angles, instead of walking in and holding these, maybe do something like a jump spot, right? And from their perspective, they are never killing you. If you jump spot this, they're never killing you. That's just too hard of a shot. They might leg you, but overall, they're just never going to do that, right? Um, same thing with connector. Always be careful like on these connector angles when you're peeking down here, because an opera could be posted um, right here. Could be posted even stair side, all these angles from ticket. So whenever you're peeking angles, always try to flash them off. Now you might say, Koja, okay, we don't have that much utility. We don't, you know, we don't know what we should be doing. And that's where we should utilize double peeking. If you can double peek oppers, you are going to literally make them rage so hard. It's the most annoying thing to deal with as an opper. Um, say you know the oppers in this connector area, you don't want to avoid him, you want to actually fight him. Well, one thing you can do is like, if you ever have a guy underpass side and a guy on this side, and as a bonus, even somebody up here, you can say, okay guys, we're peaking in three, two, one, peak. And then from his perspective, this guy peaks here, this guy peaks from this side, and then as a bonus, if you have someone peek here, boom, triple peek him. So this guy might get the first kill, right? He might be aiming wherever, boom, he kills him here, but as he's falling away, this guy instantly trades him, right? Same thing here, vice versa. Boom, he's holding, whatever, boom, dead. Um, one way you can do this is say ping and the next person says pong. You can choose a time on the scoreboard here, like on the time you can be like, all right, peak at 120 and everyone peaks at 120. Um, you can just do it loosely like, all right, three, two, one peak. Like I told you, you can count down, do that. Overall, it's just so good, right? Now, what is an opera's nightmare as well? An opera's nightmare is when you can peak angles at headshot level, right? Why is that? Because the op one shots at every point of the body except the legs, right? So one thing that we can do to really make it a nightmare for oppers is say we're coming out a ramp again, flash them off like I showed you. Well, that's bad flash, but it still works. 
flash off the common op angles to get them out of those places. But then when we're scaling out, playing positions where we can play, you know, t peek up and, and do these kind of things is so good because the opera never wants to fight somebody on a headshot level, right? An opera always wants to fight somebody where their whole body is showing. So whenever we can, getting into these positions when we can fight operas with just peeking up and, you know, just showing our head, we are giving ourselves the highest percentage chance to get those frags, right? And Mirage, you know, doesn't have the most angles like this. Um, but, you know, overall, I'm just trying to think of, like, different situations. I guess, like, playing the span angle can be good. They might just pre-fire you. But I'll, I'll give you an example. This position right here is so good against offers because you can fight back and forth. You can do this, like, be really hard to kill them. And I hate finding, fighting riflers on that angle. The exception to this is when I just pre-aim an angle, right? So if I'm just pre-aiming one of these, but look how hard that is. They can peek out anywhere, and you're kind of just like hoping that they, you know, peek you on exactly the spot where you're doing. It's just so difficult, right? So whenever you're playing offer, playing these headshot angles is going to be brutal to them, right? Um, you're gonna literally farm them, and it's gonna be so easy. Um, but yeah, also, so I mean, a CT offer, like I said, they're gonna try to find value across the map. They're gonna try to bounce around and do these kind of things. Um, especially if they're subscribed to Kojimo because they know how to op, especially if they watch my how to op video, which is kind of the opposite to this one. Um, and 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed, guys, so you can help me out so much. One thing that you can do to absolutely destroy oppers is find where the opera is. And at lower level, guys, they're going to make it so obvious where they are playing, right? They're going to make it obvious. If you know the opera is playing A side connector, well, dude, all you got to do is smoke top connector, right? Smoke top connector and split up cat, right? Take two guys up cat two guys in apps and then just have like a guy that lurks either mid or out a and why do i say that because boom now we're running into a site that has no op and we can take our man advantage situation and just trade out the site players right usually 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 there's like two people max on each site in the game right usually two people on b site two people on a site and then one guy like middle right so we can take our man advantage and split through b and why is this so hard because as an opper whenever you have to retake a site it is a nightmare right because say we come up cat here we get the trades maybe some of us die or whatever we can now smoke off market window right boom we smoked off market window that's not a problem so now the offer can't post on these angles um and you know just as long as we don't peek this side as long as we make him come out it's impossible for him right if we have a rifler holding right here impossible for him right if we have a guy like boosted up here Dude, that, like, that's such a great off angle to kill him, right? If we have people just like talking in these corners, it's gonna make his life miserable because he wants you to peek into him. So when you're playing an opera and you ever have them on a retake situation, you're on T side and they are retaking as a CT, make them peek into you. If you can make the opera peek into you, your chances of winning the round are gonna go up so much. It's so frustrating when I'm on a retake as an opera and I just get no opportunity to get any frags, right? Uh, but my favorite is when I'm holding these angles, they don't smoke me off because they're they're just not playing the game right. Boom, easy kill. Oh, pick you off. And I just pick them off before the retake can even start. Boom, easy, right? That's a, my favorite thing as an opera is just like having that. If you can force the opera to play retake, you're going to win. And I told you earlier to have a lurk because my head peeve, like my least favorite thing as an opera is when my teammates allow a lurk to go somewhere. And now I am sitting here holding these angles and I'm going to save and there's already a guy waiting because we let someone slip the net. If you can lurk in this game, it is so good. Let's let's take the vice versa. Say I'm playing retake A as the opera, the round's just falling apart and there's nothing happening, right? And I'm going to B site to save, right? The bomb's like ticking, everything's going on. If you can start the early hunt and be a T side rifler and get up into the apps and wait for the save, it is so tilting when as an opera, I'm trying to save and someone's just sitting here killing me from behind. Some of the best players in the region just like are really good at doing this where they're lurking and they're, they're just killing the opera from the side, from behind, just giving them no chance. So lurks are like the counter to offers when, you know, the team is actually taking the other side. Um, so it's just something that's super annoying. So I'll recap the video using smokes to push the opera off, going to the site that opera is not on, using your flashes to effectively blind the opera to make him feel uncomfortable. Um, double peeking, triple peeking the opera is your go-to method to trade him out, playing on headshot angles and forcing the opera to, you know, play retake, like I said, and save and then killing the opera from the back when he's saving. 
and all of this is going to go hand in hand to keeping the offers money low at all times we want to keep them off yacht we want to keep the money low enough so that they can't afford enough or they don't have utility or armor to go with it that's how you're going to win these games and it's not rocket science but it's just playing counter strike to the most basic standards so appreciate every single one of you guys for watching this video if you want to support me go ahead and comment team usa kojima i'm trying to achieve that i'm trying to get on team usa this year and it means so much to me if you have my back and support me in that process so go ahead and show that love to me i'll respond to all of you guys appreciate every single one of you watch the videos on your screen right now lots of good stuff out there and appreciate all of you keep grinding keep working hard and let's make our dreams come true peace out